Hey guys, I wanna share with you today a quick maintenance tip that anyone can do anytime that you have a motor that sits for an extended period of time. This happens to be an outboard. We're in the middle of our winter and this is sitting for a while. That means that those cylinders are positioned stationary without moving. And what can happen is, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this borescope into the cylinder. When a piston and its rings are stationary against the cylinder wall, you can actually have some corrosion develop in the form of rust especially if that piston is sitting for an extended period of time in a cylinder that has some ambient moisture or even dry. The best way to combat the corrosion is to have a good fuel treatment program. But not all fuel treatments are created the same. Seafoam, in addition to treating the fuel against ethanol and other additives, also has lubricating oils in it. Those lubricating oils spread within that upper cylinder area during the combustion cycle, and that's a great rust prevention measure. On top of that, I want to move those cylinders periodically so they're not positioned in the exact same spot. What that does is it helps redistribute lubricating oils that are in that cylinder, as well as on a four stroke, for example, it helps respread oil from the crankcase on up into those cylinder walls. So it's all about just a simple turning over of the engine to prevent the rings from sitting in the same place for a long time. That's a high risk area for rust to occur which over the course of a 20 year engine life can reduce performance pretty significantly. Now at Wired to Fish, we regularly run Seafoam Marine Pro through all of our outboard engines. It's especially important at the end of the year if you're gonna be putting your boat away for storage if you live in like the ice belt, for example, or maybe you are a deer hunter and you put the boat up for a, a little bit. When we do run our fuel treatment program, we also run it in a higher concentration. For example, I may put a full can in with only a quarter tank of gas in my engine. Being that it's a 100% petroleum product, there's no risk to the engine parts. That's actually gonna enhance the cleaning effect. Now engines are different. A lawnmower could be a pull start. I'm just gonna pull the recoil like on this older two stroke. And that's moving that cylinder, kind of broke any seal that may have formed where those piston rings are seated against the cylinder wall, respread those lubricating oils, just helps prevent corrosion within that inner cylinder area. If you have a buddy with a borescope, you'll be surprised. Stick it in there periodically, and what you're looking for is a clean piston head as well as clean cylinder walls that don't have visible signs of corrosion, such as rust. So we were just looking at our old two-stroke. Right here, we have a newer four-stroke. This is a six-cylinder, 200-horsepower engine and the same thing applies. The one thing you have with the four stroke is you have a crankcase that has oil, whether conventional or synthetic. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna turn over that cylinder without starting the engine. So I just turned over those cylinders. I respread oil from the crankcase, whether you're running synthetic or conventional, that can tend to drain back into that crankcase over time under the force of gravity. And we had ran a bunch of Seafoam Marine Pro through here before we put this boat into storage. So this is the easiest way to prevent corrosion within your cylinders.